what I'm saying? I saw a Jake also <clears throat> with his son. He brought him to, he brings him with him uh, wherever he goes with the truck. He shows him how to work and stuff like that. I was looking at that. I was like, hey, man, that's pretty dope. That's happy yeah. because the Lord said there'd be, there'd be things that I love. It's a man that the seed, the, 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 the growth of his children. Yeah, man. That's a beautiful thing unto the Lord. But nowadays, you don't see your children 24-7, man. You see your children minus eight hours a day. And the, those are minus the two hours that you got to, the hour that you got to go and pick them up and the hour that you got to go bring them uh, down there, you know? Hey, I, I work with a guy from Ukraine and he, uh, he telling me that, uh, he, he showed me pictures of his son uh, uh, with a gun, man. And he's going to hunt with his son and all these things. He's showing his son how to drive and all those things already. He's, not, he's maybe 12 now. So the, the guy, the boy already knows how to drive, yeah. he knows how to shoot, you know, he knows how to hunt and already. If, and if you notice, a child that starts smoking cigarettes earlier, they are a little bit like, like mature. They're like adultly looking. They be, sometimes they look even deformed because uh, they have this uh, mentality of a teenager while they're in their 12s and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? In their 8, eight 9 years and stuff like that. That's also not good, but it actually helps you. But the point, the reason why I said that is because if you teach your children when they're young, you're going to see a mature spirit within that child, man. You're going to see a mature, because if you send them to Esau schools, you're going to see a stupid child, man. You're going to see a child that come home trying to get some, uh, how you call that thing, uh, Santa Claus and shit like that, flying reindeer's uh, presents, you know? That's what you get when you have your children being taught by another fucking race, man. Your child is not supposed to be taught by another race. Your child is supposed to not even be taught by a stranger, like another female of your own nation, man. But not in this kingdom, but back in the days, it would be possible and plausible because that stranger Israelite would teach your son, Yahweh Basham Yahweh so it'd be good. But still, it would be best if you have your own seed within your on, um, authority, under your, under your, your authority, under on, on, your supervision. But uh, can you read on? I also got a piece of concerning what you were talking about. Uh, get it, get it. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 14. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, that rule this people which is in Jerusalem, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at an agreement. That's when you make a covenant with, with Satan, man. And if you're an Israelite, you make that covenant with Esau. Guess what? It's still Satan. Can you finish that and can you go back to the okay. country? When the overflowing scourges shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. That's what you think. You think you're not going to get punished for it, man. Because a lot of people that sell their souls, they think they're not going to deal, they're not going to be punished for it. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to get punished for it, man. You live in fat now, but hey, uh, you, you should have took the suffering now and then live for eternity good instead of living good now and, 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 and have your head down for a long time. Because in the kingdom, you're going to have your head down, man. You're going to know what you did, and you're going to be sorrowful for it. You're going to you're gonna loathe yourself, man. You're going to disgust yourself. Okay, you go back. Come. This is Ezekiel chapter 34 and uh, 4. Did you have Jeremiah 12? The deceased have he not strengthened, neither have he healed that which was sick, neither have he bound up that which was broken, neither have he brought again that which was driven away, Neither have ye sought that which was lost. These are the Israelites. But with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field That's when it. they were scattered. They became meat to all the beasts of the field. These heathens are beasts, man. That's why you shouldn't let a beast teach your children. But then again, we are now under the powers that shouldn't be. So yeah, it's kind of <laughs> messed up. So guess what? Once you have your children home, you need to reprogram them, man. Because yeah. they're going to fight you. They're going to start rebelling because Esau is the one that's actually training you from young on that, yeah, when they in the teens, they rebel. No, they fucking don't, man. If you go to other nations where they don't have television, the children don't rebel once they hit that so-called teenager age, man. They don't rebel. Where are they going to go anyway? Where are you going to go? And not only that, they don't know the mentality of rebelling. They don't know that mentality, man. My, my sister, you know what I'm can I say something? My sister was just in Nigeria with my pops. Because, yeah, yeah, you um, told me. Yeah. And when she was over there, she told me, she said, uh, the children are like servants. Yeah. She said, there's no TV, there's nothing to do here. Yeah. She said, but they like, they treat the children like servants. I said, that's what they, <laughs> that's actually obedient. how it actually it's, is. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah, my mother used to always, uh, she's right there in the room. She said, 
She called me downstairs. Hey! I come downstairs, turn the lights off. Oh, my, my, my you free right here. If you do that, you finna get beat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, I do it, I click, I click the lights on, but I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah. Later on, I saw, I saw people making jokes and stuff like that, like West Africans, for example. I saw a meme, not a meme, he actually made a joke, he has a good YouTube channel. I clicked on it by accident. So, because it says children of now and the children under on the West yeah, African yeah, yeah. parents. Yeah. So now, you know, yeah, when they, yeah, when they, the when, when the mother calls you, or the father calls you to turn off the lights while they sit right there. They sitting right there. All they have to do is like, chill. but he, they call you from from upstairs or outside or <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they tell you to come turn the lights off. Hey, right? Friday, then, Friday, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Craig, he said, he said, his sister said, hey, dad wants you again. He said, you could have Dana do that. Yeah, I didn't ask Dana. <laughs> I asked you. Right. Jake used to be like that back in the days, God, but yeah. nowadays, you know, you turn the lights on, pop. And then uh, you go back about your business. You go back playing your games or whatever, or playing around and uh, whatever you was doing. But nowadays, <clears throat> people come downstairs and they start making a fit. Why you gotta call me for that, man? If you have the West African family or, or, or the people in the '80s, the Jakes in the '80s, they would take their slipper, a shoe, a stick, beat your ass. But nowadays, but now that, that's that's what happens when you have other nations and television programming your kids how to act against their parents and stuff like that, man. Hey, this is what happens, man. I want to say something when you do Yeah, you can say it. Yeah, um, what is it? Yeah, but, but the beast of the field. These people are not supposed to actually actually rule over your children, man. But you one, one thing I, I agreed with Steve Harvey was uh, this woman said, yeah, uh, uh, my, my husband is uh, kind of hard when my son, my, my, my father, my husband disciplines the sons. I basically step in sometimes because I think he's getting too hard on them. And he said, uh, yeah, um, look, undisciplined children uh, grow up to be undisciplined men. And that's why the society is like this now, man. He didn't say that, but that's what I basically say. Undisciplined, look, if you don't have a, 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 a structure to be obedient and disciplined with your parents, you won't be disciplined not uh, to, to begin with, not with the most high, and when you get into society, you're not gonna be no, you're not gonna know how to function to begin. To begin with, gonna be an unruly know? beast. Unruly beast, man. Can you get that in uh, the finish of Jeremiah? Yeah, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Jeremiah uh, 12 and 9. I really, oh, yeah, I read that. Sorry, well, uh, Ezekiel. Sorry, Ezekiel. Uh, I re yeah, I also finished that one. No. Two five, right? Oh, oh yeah, no, go to and 20, then two twenty eight, right? Yeah. Ezekiel uh, thirty four and twenty eight. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen. That's because we're the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And we are a prey. Especially because we don't know our owner. The ox know what his owner and the ass is master crib. So guess what? We don't know our owner. So we're a bunch of lost sheep walking around without an owner or a shepherd. So what are these beasts doing? They're gathering us up and they're devouring us, man. But the Lord said we shall be no more their prey. Because he's waiting for that time to actually become. Jump to 25. Jump up to 25. Yeah. And then read on to an... Uh, yeah. This is Ezekiel 20, you know, 34 and 25. And I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land. These evil beasts are these, 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 these heathen nations, right? Even the animals attack us too, yeah, that's true. But still, these evil beasts are these heathen. They're the beasts of the field. Because I remember that back in the days they used to say black people are the beasts of the field, right? Now we know the truth. Because a lot of our people believe that shit. I never believed that shit, man. I heard these cave monkeys say that shit, that we are the beast of the field, right? But go on. Khan. Um, covenant of peace. And I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land and they shall dwell safely, dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. And sleep in the woods, man. We're going to be basically safe. That's what it represents. Go on. Khan. Because if you have a sheep, that's sleeping in the woods. What's gonna happen to it? All the wolves of the man, they smell you. Just like how you can smell a dog. When the, you can smell that dog, if that dog says near you, hey, hey, get, get, get the dog out of here, man. It smells. You can smell a cat too, but a little bit less, because they clean themselves. But still, you can smell it. But a dog has that smell, a doggy yeah. ass smell. So, if you can smell a dog, don't think that a dog can't smell you. You better know that a dog can smell you or something. Know that, but you better know that the dog can smell you, man. You know, and also sheep. You 
better know that a wolf can smell a sheep. Sheep have a distinctive smell. They have it's a like distinctive a goat, smell, man. It's like a goat. Just like a goat have a distinctive when smell. When you cook the, the food also. Yeah. When you cook it also, it yeah, yeah. Smell, right. It smell like goat. Right. And uh, KK real? Yeah. This is a... Uh, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. Right. Basically, we're going to be safe. We're going to be protected because according to the book of... Uh, give me that, uh, 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 Isaiah 4 and 4. You can start at 3. Because according to the book of Isaiah 4 and 4, it says that a chariot will be everywhere that an Israelite is. A chariot will be stationary right there, looking at us, waiting for the heathen to do some stupid. Just think some stupid. Laser beam. Let's try it, though. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're, they're not even going to try. These goddamn old don't even wear underwear, man. That little pamper billet does that he cries at us. That's some crazy shit, man. Walking with your boyfriend, don't even wear underwear. That's some. Hey, this is this world is madness, man. Which one? Uh, she that feet, oh, she left, she left, but it don't look like she wear fucking underwear. Because that butt crack doesn't have no underwear there. Can you read it? I say a four and four. When no, the Lord. They went. Oh, yeah, there, there, there. Oh, that one. It, it, it might, might be a G string. That ain't underwear, man. Stupid. Yeah, they're, they're underwear. That's a teeth floss, man. Yeah, the floss for your teeth, right? Like that. And then she puts the pants far all the way uh, up. <laughs> all the way up. All the way up. And, and, and did, this would justify us grabbing her up, uh, according not not this one, individual one. I'm talking about the book of Deuteronomy 22, 21 and 10 until 14, where it says, when we go to war against our enemies and you see a woman that you desire, a beautiful woman, and you grab her. And that's what's gonna happen, man. You kill the husband. You kill the husband, family. You kill the family, and, and let her mourn her father and mother and mother. Exactly. And, and you gotta understand. And we love that sound. We love that sound, man. And plus, you gotta understand. It's an ancient mindset. Crack, crack. We love that. Look at the dude cracking up behind the camera. What you doing? <laughs> but you, the thing is this, man. Uh, don't think that after a month, that after you kill the families, that she gonna wanna, you know, get popped. Some of the media my females actually do or are like that. They help. They want you to help them murder their family, man. Just to be with you, you know. They hate their own so yeah, they hate their own family, man. Yeah, they hate their own name. The, the, the family. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna have either my females like that, but uh, not. Don't expect that of, of 100 percent of them. And so after that month of uh, wailing for her father and her mother, don't think that she's gonna want to have sex with you, man. You know what that means? That's rape. Man. Gotta humble her. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and she will. Eventually, they're going to love it. Just like how you have the black female with Edomites right about now. They love that shit. So guess what? They're going to love it too, man. They already love it now. But in the kingdom, ain't no Edomite going to sneak around. I mean, ain't, ain't no uh, Jake woman going to sneak around and fuck Edomites in the bar. Like, you know? Fuck that guy needs to be there too, actually, man. You can't allow... And in the kingdom, man, if you allow your wife walking like that, man, you need to beat it. You need a badass beating, man. That's not allowed, man. He ain't, he ain't. No, the guy that allowed this woman to walk around oh, with a G-string yes. like that, man. He, he lack understanding. He ain't you got know? no power, man. He ain't got no power. He probably think, you can look, but I'm tapping. That's how they think, man. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? But that bitch just made you commit adultery in your head. I, 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 not that I want her, but eventually somebody gonna want her, man. That's an adultery-creating motherfucking devil over there, man. All these females are adultery creators, man. Walking with your husband, ain't got no underwear on. But uh, can you read up? Beautiful palaces built on sewers. Brother, beautiful palaces built on sewers. Beautiful palaces built, right. on, sewers. Beautiful <laughs> palaces built on sewers, man. God. That's exactly what God, they are. Man. You know? <laughs> That's exactly what they are, man. Can you read up? Isaiah 4 and 4. When the Lord shall have washed away the filthy of the daughters of Zion. Right. Uh, the filth. So like, the filth of the daughters of Zion. Right. And shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Right. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion. Every dwelling place of an Israelite. And up, upon her assemblies. And upon her assemblies. So at, at, everywhere we assemble. Go on. A cloud and smoke by day. A cloud and smoke by day, which is a chariot. And the sh shining of the of a flaming fire by night which is a chariot that gave that gives light so guess what everywhere you have going to have an assembly of israelites or just israelites in in uh, general you're going to have a chariot right there watching you <clears throat> and they have infinite stamina so they're going to watch you day and night you know what i'm saying so that the heathen might know not to even try something man. Eh? the heathen was probably saying they right are the here. beast of the field 
Matt Danger was probably standing right here on the floor watching us like this with a sword. <laughs> people, people that do witchcraft can actually see him. Yeah, uh, you remember that story, right? He saw two big angels waiting, and because he, he was had a Jake. the guy was sending, it was a Jake. No, it was a hey, hey, show show it was a Jake that was doing witchcraft, trying to curse these brothers that was teaching in America, right? So he was trying to curse them, trying to curse them. But that entity that he was sending came back, and he said, "I can't touch him." Why? They, 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 they got big ass angels with swords uh, standing in the, in, the mid, in the midst of a man. So he was like, fuck it. Then he took his little astral L, 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 LSD shit and then he uh, so called astral protected himself. And then he went there and then he saw them and he was like, whoa. And then he went back and he was, and then he told the story on the uh, internet, man. He said that's the power he actually wanted. So he, should, he already he basically acknowledged that that power was greater than he, he had. Than this. You know? Yes, but that, that shows you, uh, I can't find the video no more. There was an old video, he saw it, I saw it, we saw it, saw uh, it loose from ourselves. I didn't know that he saw it, and he didn't know that I saw it. And then one time we were talking, and I was like, hey, what the fuck, you saw the same video, what the fuck? And now he says that he saw it too, which I didn't even know that he saw it. Yeah. You saw it too. We all talked about it in the scriptures too, with the Witch of Endor. When, when uh, oh, Saul so. went to her and she, she oh, started crying, she, she was like, yeah, why, yeah. why are you Samuel. sending me to see these things? You know, it's, like, it's, it's Samuel, she yeah, saw Samuel. Samuel. She, she, she was she, like, hey, wait a minute, I saw a prophet. Yeah, she's like, why are you sending me up there to, to, to deal with this type of uh, uh, spirit? Man? Right, right, because they can conjure up entities, yeah, man. You might not believe it, but they can conjure up entities that they can see with the flesh, with the carnal eye. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be in a trance to see that thing. These people do fucking uh, sacrifices and witchcraft things, man. They can see these things, and these people know when they see the men of the Lord, they be like, "Oh shit, don't don't mess with them." You remember? But Esau is so bold, he pierced through, man. He's pe he's pierced through. That's why he's that cane, man. He's that piercing weapon, that lance, you know, that spear, that cowardly weapon. Always always depending on his weapon because he know himself, he ain't all that. So he know he he built up on his spiritual uh, his spiritual powers, which is that carnal weapon. That's Esau's spiritual power, to be able to go into a laboratory and make a freaking nuclear bomb. You gotta have a, a certain form of a, a spiritual intellect to, to do that. But uh, can you finish it? I think it's done, by the way. Uh, for upon all the glory shall be a defense. For upon, for upon all the glory, which is we are the glory of the Heavenly Father, one of his glories, let's say that, one of his inheritance, one of his delights, we are it, and uh, upon uh, and the, the, the chariots are going to be a defense, you know what I'm saying? But for now, we're actually a bunch of lost sheep in the in the midst of uh, wolves and, and, and serpents and, 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 and devils hey, and scorpions. But that's, that's the beauty, actually, man. Um, even if the chariots weren't there, they wouldn't touch us, but still, just to show the power, it's gonna be there. That's the beauty, man. Right, right. And we, we, I want to have guards as well, eunuchs as well, from Ishmael and uh, and uh, people like that, man. And Esau, man. But you know what the funny? It's not even necessary, but just to fuck with them. Yeah. <laughs> I want it there. Yeah. It's just you like know? it's just like for example, if you see a bank and nobody's there, you might get in your head. You know, you know how your head wanders. You might get in your head like, damn, you know, let's take that money out there. You know what I'm saying? But if you see guards standing there, you will think twice. Because you wouldn't even think you'd be like, man, they're gonna shoot you to yeah. death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're gonna shoot you because you can see now. Yeah. A lot of things are actually perceived by the mind through the eyes. And if it's there, then you're gonna think about it. If it's not there, if it's empty, let's say this is a whole parking lot is empty and you see a bag of gold, you know it's gold because you can see it. You're gonna think of stealing it. But if you have somebody there with money, with guns and stuff like that, you're not really gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be like, damn, if they wasn't there, you know, I would try. But since they're there, you ain't even gonna try. So it's just basically the eye that perceives. That's the one that's actually gonna determine you not to think like that. And I use fancy ass words to determine you not to think like that. Who do I think I'm in? But then, uh, can you can you uh, read off? No, that accounts. Uh, oh, that was done. That was done. Yeah. yeah. We'll, 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 before you go on, before you go on, you mean some, um? Oh yeah. What you say? Oh, oh. It's just some really quick. Uh, Isaiah, you know, just like uh, Elijah when he had that servant, and, eight. and that servant was sitting there, and uh, he was worried like oh, yeah, it was it was uh, compassed with enemies, right? It was surrounded by enemies, and Elijah said, "Don't worry about it, man. There's more of us than there are them." You know. And Why don't you he, get that scripture? Why don't you get that scripture? Read yeah, it, right, you know, okay. just, just get it, just get it. Matthew 10 and 6. <coughs> but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because we are those lost sheep. 
and we are being devoured by all these other heathen nations, as the Lord said there, that we are basically being devoured. He called these beasts of the field to come and devour us because of our wickedness. So can you can you read that now? Isaiah? It's Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Are you reading that? Isaiah 56 and 10. No. Isaiah 56 and... 56 and 8. Oh. And 9. Uh, the Lord power which gathered the outcasts of Israel said, Yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour ye, ye devour, yea, all ye beasts in the forest. That's what that's what the Heavenly Father allowed them to do. That's what the Heavenly Father allowed them to do uh, unto us. To come and devour us. You know what I'm saying? But now but uh, <laughs> but now, but now if you read on it's gonna say that uh, their watchmen are dumb dogs, man. Because their watchmen don't warn the sheep of the pending destruction that's about to come. You know? Because IUIC nowadays teach that the, the name is Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Well, I don't know if they say Yahweh Basham Yahshai, but he does say that the Lord's name is Yahweh. Well, why do it after all this time? Because he got sick. Mm -hmm. He got sick and he got scared, and then he thought to himself, like, I'm about to die. Let me just spit out this name. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, everyone that you destroy, hey, may they be destroyed then. You know? Because uh, the, the, the not reward. Be huh? Not be destroyed? May they be destroyed then. You know, everyone that followed him, because Isaiah, Ezekiel chapter 14 and 9 says, the prophet, the, 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 the followers of the false prophets shall be destroyed just like the false prophets. It is your own fault for following them. You know what I'm saying? So it's your own fault. You did the stupidity, so now you're going to pay with it with your life. You know, so on, uh, now go to, and, um, did you get that already? Yeah, give me that. This is 2 Kings chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse, uh, verse 13. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he hither horses and chariots and great host, and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the service of the man of the Mosai was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And a servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee upon his eyes, that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes. It's like it. And the Lord opened his eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of how, uh, horses and chariots of fire round about Elijah. Can you get the, the, that? That shows you that, you know, basically the Heavenly Father has that radar thing, man. The, all your radars and stuff like that, you got that from the scriptures, my man. Because you can see things that are not there. Well, we, all, all we have to do is pray to Yahweh Basham Yahshua, and we have a natural radar. So we don't need your left side spiritual magic and stuff like that, man. That technology. That's why when you saw Dragon Ball back in the days, Dragon Ball, if you see, it, man, this spirit, man, Dragon Ball, when Son Goku saw Bodma up on her on her bike, he wanted to attack that bike because he was like, it's magic, it's magic. Yeah. And then he started hitting it, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. That technology is magic. I don't even like technology. That technology is magic, man. It's a, it's a form of magic. He's not trying to brainwash you that magic in here. Why is he teaching the children how to read with little witch books and stuff like that? Why you got Hansel and Gretel? That's cannibalism. That's, that's, that's some serial killer cannibalism type of shit. But he's teaching your children. This is why this comes back to it. We shouldn't let these people teach our children, man. You shouldn't want this. But nowadays, yeah, we, we are in this so-called uh, situation. Yes, we are. But the thing is, you shouldn't want to be in it. You should want to go back to your Yahweh Basham Yahshua. So, therefore, that's why we keep these comforting words. We're kicking it to you like a ninja. We're kicking this word to you in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahshua in order for you to desire to go want, to want to go back to your own land and rule over your own children. You know what I'm saying? And don't let, don't let a witch teach your children how to read. Little Timmy was scared of the witch. So, therefore, he told 
his little friend to come and not go there. But the witch caught them and ate them. What the fuck is that shit, man? You got books like that, man. Yeah, cut. Sacrifice. You got books like that, man. You got fucking movies like that, man. Hans and Greta, Hans and Khadija. Movies, yeah? You know what sacrifice to Satan, but they Sacri just don't say it. Right, sacrifice to Satan, man. That's some serial killer cannibalism shit, man. Can you get Jeremiah chapter 50, verse um, 6? Okay. This is Jeremiah. You have it? Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 6. And then jump to 17. Oh, no, 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 no. This is what I was looking for. Yeah, I got it. Keep on, keep on reading. Yeah, yeah. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. We, we, we go from God to God, man. We go from big God, Allah, to a, to a, to a small God, uh, uh, whatever, man. You know? No, no, that's a big devil, dude. Because yeah, the, 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 the Buddha is he's a little bit he's a little bit smaller, but he's still Hinduism, big. Hinduism, shit. Hinduism is a little bit smaller, but then uh, you know our people go to five percenters, for example. That's a little hill. That's a little hill. They go to Egyptology. It's, it's, that's a big one too, but it's it's kind of a little you know. It's, it's, you know it was always big. Who was the first one that worshipped uh, Egypt? Esau. He got it on his dollar bill. That shit is big, man. That shit's fucking Baal. The whole world you know what I'm saying? The, the whole world uh, uses, that, uses that money, man. Okay. That shit is big. It's not a religion that people follow, but it's a religion that Esau worships. That's why he always puts it in his movies. He always wants the gods of Egypt and shit. Okay. Always the games. Okay. You always have Egypt-themed area with pyramids. Even Mario, Super Mario 3. Yeah. You, 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 he went, he went to the sand. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then yeah. you, you, you okay. also had the giant land. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's yeah. what we know. Everything in the scriptures, they put Climb it in games and then they make it fantasy and stuff like that. Yeah. We know that they worship witches and they're warlocks too, man. Wizards and witches and warlocks and soothsayers and stuff like that. We know that they do these things, man. But they make it come over as if it's some kind of flying reindeer nonsense and stuff like that, man. They have yeah. forgotten their resting place. They have, have, where's the resting place of the Israelites? Yeah. Oh. All that found them have devoured them. That's what I was looking for. They devoured them, man. They're and eating they're, us up as we're the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go on, sorry. And their adversary said, we offend not. We offend not. They don't think that they're doing something wrong. Especially when they come in our neighborhoods and feed us that goddamn fucking filthy ass food that they're feeding us, man. Full of all, all type of madness and stuff like that, man. Their food is so full of madness, bro. When you when you when you when you done eating, you finna go you finna pass out like like you get a heart attack or some shit like that, man. You finna pass out. You're thinking to yourself, like, wait a minute, why am I sleeping? I just I just ate food. I'm supposed to be energetic, right? Nah, man, they, they drug you. The food is literally drugs, man. It's the pharmaceutical companies basically in your food. We have been not because they have sinned against your house. That's why they keep on doing the things that they're doing, because they're thinking in their heart, like, fuck them. They sinned against the most high anyway. But the Lord said, give me that in Zechariah 1 and 15. Zechariah 1 and 15. Oh, you, you're going to get it? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Hold, hold that, and then give Zechariah one in fifteen to show you what the what they're really about. Because uh, they say like, man, they they are the ones that sinned against the Lord. That's why we're gonna stab him even more. We're gonna trample him even more. We're gonna spit on him while they're on the ground. Is this the city of beauty? Is this the city of perfection? That's what they're at. Stomp like dead presidents. Stomp like dead presidents, man. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this scene. Uh, what is it? Menace it was, Society? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Uh, oh, I Menace know. Society. Think, Not yeah, it, it was Menace. It was Menace. And that guy, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And blood came out of, out of his mouth and then he retaliated and then he killed the guy. He was like, yo man, these motherfuckers jumped me, man. They beat me up. Like, How he man. left the house also. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> This is Zechariah chapter 1 verse 15 and it reads And I am very displeased with the heathen that are at ease at 14. Verse 14 So the angel that communed with me said unto me Cry thou, saying, thus saith the Lord of hosts I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy Right, but for we are Zion Hey, look at cut this up Yeah Hey, yeah man Shit. Hey, cut this up What do you do? It's just like you, man. The quarter pass it down and the bay quarter south. Quarter pass it. In the streets. Verse 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased. I was but a little displeased, man. 
and they help forward the affliction. Hey, remember that guy, that skinny guy, the tall guy that looked just like him? I don't see him no more, man. I think he got that in uh, chicka chicka for oh, I don't know what happened to the dude, but I ain't see him no more, man. Pop locked and dropped. The pop locked and dripped. <laughs> dri 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 <laughs> chicken. He look, look, look like little Wendy. Pop but can you go on? Right. Oh, I'm worried again. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased. I was but a little displeased, man. And they helped forward the affliction. They helped sure. further the affliction, man. They helped. They, 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 they made it worse, man. They wasn't, they wasn't supposed to be doing all this. That's why Esau is finna get that extermination. That's why these heathen nations finna get their beating for a thousand years. And after a thousand years, the Lord said, I will bring, I will bring back the captivity of them. So that's why the Lord is going to let them lose again. And then they could rule over their own nation with their kings and queens. But every time we come around, you lick up my feet, my man. In front of your people. We're going to show you what's really going down. And it's going to be righteous, man. We're going to all the shit that you done did. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're going to perpetually text you, man. Give me some stuff. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make money on um, hand over fist. But they're gonna, still going to be happy, though. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank, thank you for this. Thank you for this. They gotta keep allowing us to have this little piece. Yeah, man. They, they're probably gonna have big houses too, man. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have land. They're gonna have their own land. They're gonna have their own food. No more, no more uh, GMO. No more pesticide in the food. None of that, man. You know Ain't gonna be no goddamn weapons upon the planet for them to be murdering each other. But, but amongst those thousand years, we're gonna plant. Drugs in the Esau's ghettos and stuff like that. <laughs> 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 gonna, they're gonna kill each other, man. We're gonna make y'all mangle yeah. each other and then we're gonna judge you for that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna meet y'all y'all gonna commit adultery upon each other and we're gonna mangle you for that shit, man. We're gonna mangle you, man. But then uh, can you go on? Back to the Cause also uh, they're gonna keep the ways of the most high, even though they get, you know, after that thousand years. Right. They're gonna keep the ways of the most high. And if they don't the nation, sure. if they don't, then we come down with bust ass. Of course we will. Can you can you go? Okay. Uh, let me read okay. seven again. Right. All that have found them devoured them. Yeah, they devoured us, man. Until this day they devoured us. They devour us. And their adversary said, We offend not because they have sinned against your howl. So they think that they're right. They they think that we deserve this. Even though the Lord said those who, who, who was not to drink of the cup have surely drunk it. So they trying to play judge upon themselves. That's one of the reasons why we will judge them so hard. Because we're going to be the judges of the earth, man. We're going to be literally uh, Judge Dredd upon the planet Earth. No Rasta judge, relation. And executioner right there. All the judge, time. right. Judge, jury, and executioner right then and there. Put your ass to death without going to counsel. You, you need to go to court? You know you fucked Fuck up. Fuck that right? shit, man. Kill you right here. Yeah. Whip your ass in front of the people and slaughter you right there and let your people bury you, man. Hey, yes. clean, clean this mess up. Yes, Beat your ass with the machete. Before, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> clean this mess up. <laughs> them Sabians, we just slaughtered the king. Yeah, You're like, yes, sir. Clean it up. I'm going to have, have a flock of Sabians just following me around like a flock of hoes. And yes, they, a, everybody I kill, they go, yeah, I'm a, let me bury him for you, mister. <laughs> Hungry to get a piece of the action too. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> Think you like, man, I slay him also. Man, I slay him too. also. Man, beat him. Just one beat him. Time. Just one time. One time. One time. I know this. I know him. I know just him. Just one time. Yeah. He's a pretty bad man. <laughs> beat him. Yeah, hot. man. They already gonna have pre dog, pre dog hoes. You get off with them or go with Make a hole for the master because I know he gonna kill somebody today. <laughs> today he gonna kill somebody. God, man. Make a hole for him now. Yeah. Today. Really hoes. Go. Hey man, I can't wait until yeah, the time comes, man. Yeah man. They, man. they gonna get. They gotta get rewarded for their works as yeah, well, man. That's that's. You know. You gonna get to eat my wife. You know that's uh, yeah. how do you say that? Here you go. <laughs> Honest no. man. <laughs> gonna deal honestly with yeah, people, man. man. Yeah, I'm saying. Not like Esau. By know? the way, the truth is gonna come. Give me Zechariah eight and three. Just, just get that real quick. We gonna be named the city of truth again, man. Cause we were it, and then we became the city of lies, man. That evil city, that wicked city. The eyes are upon, man. the Most High's eyes are upon that evil kingdom. And we, know, you know who that evil, ki wicked kingdom was? That was the kingdom of Judah. Amos chapter nine is speaking against Judah, but nowadays it uh, it transformed and it's speaking against Esau, man. You know? Can you read that? Zechariah Come, 8 and this 3. Is, this is Zechariah 8 verse uh, 3. Thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth, right. and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, That's what the holy want. mountain. That's what we want, man. That's what we want. We want to be the city of truth. You know, we were at, uh, at, a, at, at one point in time, and then we lost it, man. Because our children became wicked, you know? 
And later on it says that we are worse than our forefathers because our forefathers was fucked up. But then later on it says we're worse than our forefathers, man. Right? That's horrible. Uh, can you go back into Jeremiah 50? It's Jeremiah 50, uh, 49 and 7. I mean, 50 and 7, select. Uh, the habitation of justice, even the, the power of Yahweh. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 50 and what? Uh, 7. Are you at 7 right now? 50 and 7. All them that found have found the vow. Yeah, I was at. Yeah, I read it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you Okay, okay. go. Right. Jeremiah 15 and 7, all that found them have devoured them. And their adversary said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. See, come. Right, right. That's, that's what we even uh, 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 ran away from. Basically, we have, um, uh, you know, offended. Come. This is eight. Remove out of the midst of Babylon. Go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans. Go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans, which is a lot of witchcraft, man. Go on, go on. Be as the he goats before the flocks. Mm -hmm. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations. Right, all the nations are going to come, going to come and fight against the modern day Babylon. Because if you go on, this talks about Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon. But it's going to happen again. Because the modern day Babylon, the daughter of Babylon is Esau. It's Esau's kingdom. So guess what? All these heathen nations, they're gonna fight Esau, man. Especially when they start implementing the RFID chip, when they start implementing their new world order, then the, uh, the heathen nations are gonna see like, fuck this shit. Then they're gonna burn you in fire, man. Even England is gonna fight against you because they're gonna be like, man, well, we can't do this. This wasn't part of the deal. See, the elites, they have an other type of mindset. If you watch this movie called Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil, the, the first one, then you will see what mindset the elites have when they're on that table. They're discussing how they actually go actually give everybody the T-virus just to kill them off because they want to re replicate the Bible by killing everybody just like how the Heavenly Father killed everybody with water. So they want to kill everybody in that movie. They want to kill everybody with the T-virus. And, and, and that's exactly the mindset of these Edomites that are now here. That's why when you look up in the sky, you see this misty, cloudy type thing. They already did, did their work for the day. Tomorrow is going to be a hell of a cloudy, dark ass day. Every day is supposed to be as sunny as this, and they know that it's very, un, uh, it's very healthy, and it, it brings out a different spirit when the sun is out. When you go outside and you look, you be like, "Wow, the world is actually pretty beautiful." But uh, also in countries that it's warm, when you go to like a party over uh, like in the islands, you see that people sleep, they have sex a lot. You see it, you know, because of the sun. Yeah, because of the sun. But like over here, when it's cold and stuff like that, it's, it's a little you're inside. bit less. You're inside. It's a little bit less than over there. Over there, hey, mad, ass, mad babies can get born. Man. Plus, plus <laughs> yeah. the, thing, the yeah. thing is, Pop plus, out, right? Right. plus you're, you're inside the whole time when it's cold. When it's, cold, when it's warm, a lot of people are outside, man. Everybody's outside. That's how you get to interact with people. That's how you get to meet people. Exactly. But that's why they want to make it dark so that you stay inside. Yeah. And you don't have a lot of activities like feast festivals and stuff like that. Which also, notice, when you're sick and your temperature is higher, any, everything in your body uh, goes faster. So, any, um, like your, hair, your nails grow faster, your hair grows faster. When the temperature in someone's body is, is high, things uh, 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 are uh, speed up, you know? And that's, that's, that's the effect that the sun has as well on, on people, man. They're more active and they're more, uh, uh, yeah, also sexually active, basically, you know? Because huh? the everything grows. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, because you need sunlight, it. man. It, 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 landscapes that that are always in the cold don't really have vibrant Nutrients. landscapes, right? Right. Not you really. Know? Always, you always, you always see them, 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 the mountains just with no trees. Exactly. But if, when, when you go to, for example, Germany or something like that, man, the mountains there have some big ass trees, and you can smell it yeah. from a fucking kilometer away. That's some real trees, man. You can smell it. You mean like, like the cedars of Lebanon? You know what I'm saying? Like the cedars of Lebanon, man. You probably, man, you probably could smell that from Israel on. You can smell the trees from Lebanon, man. That's how powerful them trees are, man. You know what I'm Even in this wicked ass kingdom, you could smell them. You could smell them trees from a, from a mile away. But they ain't butchering them. You know what I'm saying? No. But then let's let's finish the, up this. Can you give me everything you got over there? Uh, I got Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 49 and 23. 
and kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Red, your kings. And their queens, thy nursing mothers. We're gonna use your queens too. We're not gonna pop them because that's adultery, you know. They shall bow down to thee with they. their face towards the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. Yeah, man, we gonna step in shit and then make you lick it, man. We're gonna have fun with you, with your own shoes, man. You know, we're gonna we're gonna butcher you Edomites and wear you. We're gonna take your skin and, and make a shoe out of you, and then we're gonna make your sons wear you. And, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Yeah. For did, you, they, did you know that I didn't know that? Did you know that they used to do that with Jake? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah, I know. So all the, all these years when I said that, man, when I heard that they actually did that to Jake, I was like, how how long y'all watching me? I was shy. They used to skin us, and then they make shoes out of us. Wallets and stuff like that. I never knew that. But I always said that I'm going to do that to them. And then I found out that they... Also the tattoo. Right, also the tattoo and shit like that. And then I found out that they actually did it to our people. Now I was even more furious. Like, whoa, now it's even more justified. But then, can you finish everything that you have? Alright. Right, right, right. For they shall not be ashamed that wait for, for me. Yeah, man, we wait for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And we're not going to be disappointed. We're not going to be ashamed. Because, you know, when you wait for something and the person doesn't come like a stood up uh, date, like you've been stood up, it's kind of shameful, right? You'd be like, they don't respect me. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the kid. That's not. That's not going to be the case with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. We're not going to be stood up. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're going to be. We're going to get what we get. That's right. That's, that's my product we're walking around over there. It says the Lord is not slack concerning his, concerning promise, his promise. Even though some men count slackness. First, the first uh, second Peter so chapter three that. and nine. Right, you second. Some twigs over there? Yep. So second Peter, right? <laughs> with, the, with the green leaves. With the green leaves. <laughs> Can you read them? Here yeah, the green jacket. Here yeah, the green jacket. Second Corinthians thirteen and eight. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That's why Esau is trying to actually slander us right now with that nonsense going on in New York and stuff like that, man. We're trying to actually make it seem as if the whole group of the Hebrew Israelites is trying to do something like that. That's that slanderous spirit that they have, man. They always want to come up with some lying ass fakeness and then they use certain occasions against it. See, he, he's, he's probably just like one of them he, black Hebrew Israelites that, that is on the terrorist tip, man. They're, they're a threat to the nation. They're, they're, they're anti-Semitic. Because that, that shows you how much these Amalekites are being protected by these regular-ass Edomites, man. And they love them so much that they actually really don't even see that they're being protected. That's why the KKK hates their guts, man. Because the KKK be thinking like, hey, man, why are you ain't protecting ourselves like that? Let them be protect, uh, protecting themselves. No. All the regular Edomites, the Amalekites got them in their pockets because they pay their salaries, man. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, right? Remember that? Mm -hmm. That's why they don't bite the hand that feeds them. So, uh, 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 do, do you have anything? No. Do you have anything? I have from one scripture from Isaiah 14. Okay, give me that. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. That's what for, we want. For servant and handmaid. And, and for bedwitches. And they shall take them <laughs> captives, who captives they were. We was captives of these Edomites, and then guess what? They're going to be our captives, man. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Just, and, like, just like how they rule over us right now. I mean, brothers got to work, brothers got to do certain things, right? You got to go to their stores to buy food, right? They're still ruling over you. And these heathen nations... Uh, uh, aside of Esau, they're devouring us too with these spiked up prices that they're pumping up upon us, man. Yeah? Ch chicken, chicken done rose eight euros in in a, in a fucking I don't mind, it was a fucking month or something like that, man. Within that thing, what's up, man? It rose eight euros, man. Eight fucking euros, man. It used to be twelve euros, man. Eleven. Then it went to twelve. But this was every year. Every year they raised it up by a euro. It went to twelve euros. Then it went thirteen. Then it went fourteen. This year it was still 15. Beginning of this year it was 15 euros for 10 kilo, 10 kilo chicken. Now it's it's 23 euros for 10 kilo chicken. They jumped eight euros, man, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Is these is these these, these people are, are, are fucking with us, man?
This is no reason for chicken shortage. Fuck out of here, man. Chicken shortage. What has Russia and Ukraine to do with the chicken shortage? It has nothing to do with each other, man. And I already told you that if you go on Google, right, and you type in on um, uh, sunflower seed fields in Europe, every country in this little stolen ass continent has a whole, not one, has fields upon fields upon fields upon fields upon fields upon fields of sunflower seeds. You mean to tell me that that all fucked up because of this war in Russia? They're playing with you, man. They finna get rich just like how Elon Musk is getting rich with that almost two, uh, 1.8 trillion, not almost, almost 2 trillion, which is 1.8 trillion in a year. Deception. And they, and the two deception, and they split that among uh, 20 cave monkeys, man. 20. 20 of them only split 1.8 trillion. That's still a lot of money, man. You know what I'm saying? He almost has 2 trillion, man. You can't even spend one trillion in your lifetime. You can try. You'd be dead before it's gone. But that's why the Heavenly Father said the, the rich man that, that broke down his barn and built up bigger barns to store more goods, the Heavenly Father was like, this day you die. And everything that you had, I'm a gift to somebody else. And it's the same thing that's gonna happen to you Edomites. Y'all building up that trillion, you know what we're gonna do with that trillion of Elon Musk? We're gonna set it on fire. <laughs> like the Joker. That's why I like the Joker for that part. Vivo Vendetta, uh, right? I, 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 he did it too, right? Did he do it too? I believe so. Right? He burned money too, right? I gotta watch that movie again. I haven't watched it for a long time, man. I haven't watched it, I think, for 20 fucking years or some shit like that. Joker, he's Not 20 years, I mean like, uh, not 20 years. I mean like, maybe like, it's definitely 10. Because I remember Michael Jackson died in 2010. And before that is when I watched that movie. And I haven't watched that movie after Michael Jackson died. So I know it's more than 12 years. It, it looks long as hell, man. But then again, it, it went fast as shit. But it, if you look back at it, you'd be like, damn, this, Michael already died 12 years now? It would look like yesterday. You know? But I know it's far. But yo, with that, I'm going to say, all, we're going to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Double honors unto the elder apostles at Great Millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. And shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Shalom. 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 shalom.